Hi, it's John here from GPS Training. What we're going to do in this short review is look at the Spot Gen 3, which is a one-way satellite communicator on personal tracker. So the key thing, it's a one-way tracker. We can send messages or people can see where we are, but we can't receive messages back from them. That's the key thing. So overall, build quality is very good. It's just four ounce in, um, in weight with the batteries. And I really like that, a nice compact unit. Very simple also to use. This strap is really good because you can attach it either onto your belt strap or onto your rucksack strap. So it's in the tree. So you can see by the size of my hands, it's not very big at all. Really nice and simple, just a number of buttons. So on off button on the side, press the on off button and the unit switches itself on. When it's on, we just get this flashing light up the top that shows it that's on. Now one of the key things with this is actually, it doesn't actually get a satellite signal until you send a message. And this is how it gets such good battery performance. So you get really good battery performance. So saying that, if you get a 50% clear view of the sky, the four AA batteries will get a, um, a if it's switched on 24 hours a day, we're going to get um, 13 days of continuous battery life. Now we're going to switch it on and off. It's very rarely we have it on continuously. But 24 hours a day, 13 hours by the four double-A batteries, lithium batteries that you get with it, just normal lithium double-A uh, batteries. So again, it's a fantastic uh, performance um, that you get with the, uh, the unit. So overall, what's it coming out in the UK? It's coming in, recommended retail price, about £129. So it's very good value for money. And then we need to get ourselves a contract until that to use our service plan. So again, depending on what service plan you get, it's about £160 a year for a service plan in the UK to use, uh, to use this product. I think it's quite unfair to compare it to other units. You know, we've done a lot with the Garmin InReach stuff and really like that two-way communicator. But actually, that's four times the cost. So actually, it's very unfair to compare that with, with this because this is more the uh, the base end of the uh, the market batteries we've discussed really good performance on the batteries so setting up the unit plug it into our computer and we set it up quite a nice easy simple process to do one thing about it, it took about three hours once I set it up to actually get activated by the satellite because it needs to get activated again because there's no way of telling you it just kind of fired into life three hours I thought I set it up I'm ready to go it took me a, a few hours uh, to do that it works from the global star 24 low earth orbit uh, satellites so again it's not the iridium satellites a lot of, of uh, the, sat the sat phones work from it's the global star therefore we're not getting 100% worldwide cruise game very good coverage in America Europe and, and a majority of it but we're not talking 100% coverage like we do with some other products currently on the market what I like about it is the simplicity really simple unit SOS button don't worry you can't accidentally press it it's hidden under a little flap there we've got OK again you set up all these messages online what you want to say OK I've just set up everything's OK this is where I am tracking button again you're going to start tracking which then other people can uh, see where you are or you can see your track you just hold down the tracking button for four seconds again you can there's a preset message button so we can set that for you once. And then we have like an internal help button, which I really like, an internal help button, which again, if you want to notify your friends and, and family that you've got a problem, you can use that. Now, the nice thing about all this, you set all these up online. So you set up the actual messages that you do, and they can go to up to 10 email addresses and or mobile telephone numbers. Now, one of the key things I found is actually the only the emails give your exact location as a link to a map. Um, if you send it a text message, it just gives you Latin long, which is quite pointless really to tell you where people we are. I suppose it is an emergency, but I quite like um, where, where there's an email where it gives you a link where people can click on and see where you're on Google Earth. So how do we do? We just do anything. We just hold the button down for four seconds. So we're going to send a message to our, um, say, a beer is okay. Hold down the message, press button for four seconds. Okay, there we go. It's now into the activation mode. So what it's doing is looking for a GPS signal. As you can see, the GPS button is starting to flash. Red, so it's not got a satellite signal. Hopefully, it'll get one. And then when it get one, we'll see the message being sent. And this is the key thing that I mentioned, is actually, it's only getting the satellite signal when it's looking to send that message. And therefore, it does take a lot longer than some of the other products on the system. But again, it's £119 uh, uh, or £129 um, recommended retail price. And so now I found a, a GPS signal. It's getting its location now. It's got a GPS system. And it's going to wait when we send the GPS system, it will then send the message. Again, it's taking time, isn't it? So, some statistics are saying that once you press it, it 
all messages will be received. 97% of messages will be received within a 20 minute window. When again, when we used to instantaneous text messages, it's not instantaneous text messages. Okay, it's now sending that message. So the third light is now sending, so it tells us our power's on. It's got a GPS fix of where we are, and now it's sending that message. So it's quite steady performance. Um, that's all I can say in regards to that, isn't it? As you can see, it's not instantaneously. And it's quite unfair because you see a lot of reviews online when people are reviewing it. Do you know, if I did this again from the same location, it would do it again a lot quicker because it knows where we are. But what I found when I'm out walking, it, it, it took a while to send that message because I'm moving all the time. Actually, my satellite location is moving all the time. So it was taking you know, many, many minutes, not tens of minutes to send that message. So you can see there, it's still sending that message. Now, again, I must note that I've just moved to a new location to do this video. So it's taken a little while to do it. So it's just about sending that message. Tracking. Key thing of this is tracking also so people can see where you are. Again, depending on what plan you are, you do a track point every like two minutes, ten minutes, half an hour. Again, battery life is the whole thing. Do tracking so people see you just hold down the tracking button and you see it goes into tracking mode. A little light for everything held down for four seconds, it goes into tracking mode. Again, look at the GPS signal. When it gets a GPS signal, it will send the message of my current location. And that will do that every however you set up this unit, you know, every 10 minutes, every half hour. Again, it depends on your battery life. And it will do that really. Now, I like that. It appears on your computer and it's a really uh, nice feature. And to stop anything, it's sending the message now of our current location. I'm going to stop this because, again, we don't want to do any tracking. Hold, hold down the button for four seconds and it stops it. You see a little red light flashes to say it stopped tracking. Okay, quick look at the SOS button. The SOS button, you have to lift the little flap. When you press it, it links into the GEOS system, uh, which is a worldwide uh, rescue, international rescue response. Uh, maybe press that. Again, um, it's equivalent of 911 or 999 in the UK, an emergency response. Again, I think it'd be quite useful, but I'd, how do you know you got, uh, there's no response back from you? So that worries me a little bit. I think I would be tempted to use this a little bit more, you know, this notify friends and family that you've got a potential problem. And I would rather them manage and speak to a human and manage my um, emergency response than a, 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 somebody over in America, which I don't even know I've received the message. So again, it's something just to uh, bear in mind. Um, so overall, what do I think of it? I really like the, the build quality and the size of it. I'm a bit unsure about just sending off messages and not getting anything back. So the way I would use it is, if you're walking in the UK and you have a mobile phone signal for 50%, 25% of your walking, I think it's a really nice addition because when you're in those mobile phone dead spots, you can use this spot and use it to its full potential. But actually, would I rely on this? If I had an accident or a member of my group had an accident and I was in the UK, I would try and move to somewhere where I've got a mobile phone signal and want to communicate directly with someone to hear back what's happening when, when, when the emergency is in. Rather than pressing a button, sending a signal that's only a, 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 a message that's only got a 96% success rate within 20 minutes to send in, and I just sat there and go, well, are there people going to come? Who's going to come? No. Is it going to be helicopters flying from the sky? Now you read these stories online that that's what you get. But actually, you read a lot of other stories online that that's not the response you get is helicopters don't come flying from the sky. So it's nice about tracking. It's nice that you can send messages. But I keep going back. It's 120 quid. It's just over 100 quid, isn't it? So actually, you get what you pay for, really. So a really nice introduction into satellite GPS personal tracker and communication of it. But actually, if I was an explorer, I was going into the Alps, if I was doing quite serious walking, I think I would like to look at spending a little bit more money and getting something that um, really has that two-way communication. So actually, if I press the SOS button, if it's a two-way communication device, they'll communicate with me, I'll communicate back with them. This is the instant, this is what we're at. I would have a lot more confidence in that than just pressing a button and sitting there and waiting.